Example two. We have the equation to x y plus x square minus one multiplied by dy by dx equals zero. We are going to rewrite it in the form of the m times dx plus n times dy equals zero, or the differential of the solution. Multiply all by dx. We have two x y multiplied by dx plus x squared minus 1 times dy equals 0. Therefore, the m is 2xy and the n is x squared minus 1. We're going to check whether this equation is exact or not by finding the partial derivative of the m with respect to y to get 2x and the partial of the n with respect to x, which gives us 2x they are equal to each other. Therefore, this differential equation is exact. Next, we're going to find the solution. Note that the solution, the partial derivative of the solution with respect to x is the m. And the partial derivative of the solution with respect to y is the n expression. Our m is 2xy. Our n is x squared minus 1. For the first step, we're going to pick either m or n and find the antiderivative. In this case, if we choose the n or the m expression, so we're going to start with the m. Therefore, the solution fxy is the integral of the 2xy with respect to x because m is the solution with respect to x. So f, fxy is integral to xy dx plus the constant function in terms of y. Integral of 2xy dx will give us x squared times y plus the gy. In the next step, we are going to find the partial derivative of this obtained solution with respect to y and then equate it with the n expression. So the partial derivative with respect to y of x squared times y plus gy equals the n from the problem, the n is x squared minus 1. <coughs> So the partial x squared y with respect to y give us x squared and the partial of the gy with respect to y is g prime at y equals x squared minus 1. That tells us the g prime at y equals negative 1. We find gy, which is the integral of negative 1 with respect to y, give us negative y. Therefore, the general solution is <clears throat> fxy equals c or the terms of x squared times y minus y equals c.